Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, in this episode we have a Ryobi 2300. It's brand new Ryobi 2300. This is a basically a 2000 watt generator with push start. Not too many 2000 watt generators have push start. They usually all pull start. This one comes with a push start. Bluetooth technology. CO detect. So if you keep this generator inside the storage somewhere, the garage, it will shut itself off. It's a pretty smart generator. It has this little compartment right here that houses a battery. I'll show you that later. It also has two 20 amp plugs, two USB, the restart, load restart. So if you overload this generator, you just push the button to restart the load. You got a circuit breaker right here that should, uh, if in case that's where you're parallel. So it is parallel capable. So if uh, you overload the parallel capability, you could restart it right here. This is your grounding post. Has a handle, nice long handle with wheels. So you can uh, easily transport this generator with the handle has this huge data center right here. You get all your information, fuel, load, right here. We're gonna try the Bluetooth later on when we um, do the test on this generator. Okay, you got your keyless compartment. No tools required. Okay, has a little heat shielding and noise dampening. There's two little tabs you gotta pull out and the screw and a little lock tab in the back. This is the area you put your oil. It's kind of recessed in here. So they put a little door. You gotta use a little screwdriver to take it off so you can change the oil and then that makes it easy. So that's pretty smart of them. That's nice to put that. You got your spark arrester and a little carrying handle in the back. Surprise, there's not another one in the front. I guess you have this and another carrying handle right here. It's pretty cool. Bright color. Can't miss this generator. Gas cap. There's no vent on the top. There, there's a vent, but you can't open and close the vent. Let's go ahead and put the oil in this generator. And then we'll fire it up and then we'll do a load test. A little bit before I do the load test and probably change the oil one, one time. So run it for about 20 minutes and then I'll change the oil and then we'll do the load test. Okay. Let's get that oil in there. There you go. Let's dump all that oil in there. Try not to over tight, just snug it down. We're gonna tie this back down. I got the Ryobi 2300 outside. It has oil, it has fuel, the battery is in. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, on dial. It's right here, turn that to on. That turns on the uh, gen control. I guess that's the fuel gauge and the runtime shows in zero. So I guess it has an automatic choke and it also has an auto idle. I guess that's the eco mode. We call it auto idle on here. Okay, guys, so we got the Ryobi set up outside so we can do the uh, first start. Let's go ahead and turn on this switch. You see that the gen control comes on. It says 0.0, .0 hours ran. I, I did put about a little on a quarter tank, about a little over a quarter tank of gas. Let's go ahead and push that button. Ah! 
There you go, second try. Not, not loud. Not bad, I love the sound. Oh, check this out. It shows you the uh, remaining runtime. So this is just for the fuel and the uh, load. Nice. Let's see if we can load the app on the Bluetooth. Okay guys, I got the app for the um, Ryobi. It says, let's begin. And we choose gas. Safety warning, danger. Yes, use only outside. Okay. That's the uh, 2300 BTA, and I have the, the RY 2300. So let's pick this one. Make sure the battery is inserted. Continue. Make sure that the inverter is on. Continue. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the generator to do this step. Okay. Next. Wow, look. This is the generator. It's in standby mode. It shows the exact same amount of fuel. Stand by. Do you wish to start your engine? Yes. Oh, you gotta hold it down. Nice. Pretty cool. And you hold it. Then it tells you shut down successful. And don't forget to turn off your uh, battery. <laughs> okay. Start again. Would you like to start? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let this generator run for about 20 minutes and we'll do that off camera. I'll come back and change the oil. About 20, 30 minutes, I'll change the oil and we're gonna do a, a load test on it. Okay guys, so I'm going to perform the first oil change on the uh, Ryobi. There are two screws located on the bottom right here. Take these off. Just remove these. Take that off. Get your oil dipstick off. I want to show you what I'm seeing on the inside right now. 
Okay, so once you pull this off, there's a little tray on the inside that allows the oil to fall into the tray and comes off right here. So it, right into my bucket, I did a little cutout. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I'll just tip. Oh man. See guys, this is why you want to change this oil after 30 minutes. So much metal flex and dirty. Man, look at this oil guys. Check this oil. Just it's 30 minutes. Alright, so um, like I said, I ran it for 30 minutes, which is 0.5. Alright guys, so we got the Ryobi set up to test. You can see we're at 123 volt. That's the output it's putting. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some load right now. Let's start with 500. You can see it's ramping up real smooth. That's real nice. Let's go to 1,000. Okay, we're right at 1,000 right here. See the time drop from 19 to seven hours. So that's a little on about 60%. See, it shows about, this is 50 right here. Let's see what uh, 50 would, the runtime would turn to. Drop it down. About 800, 870. Okay, so that's 50. Let's see what the time increases to. Eight hours, so you get an extra hour at 50. Take her up. Let's go about, it's rated for 18, so let's go to this rated. About 90% right here. One five. One six. Eight, almost one eight. It's flashing almost. Okay, we are rated power, a little over rated power. Let's see how long it will hold it. We're at rated power right now. That's the rated power, 1800 running watts. She is delivering her 1800 running watts. Voltage is holding good at 118. That's 15.3 amps.
take it off. I'm gonna take it off eco mode. Okay guys, so we're standing right about 20 feet from the uh, Ryobi 2300. It's about 58. It's really quiet. Hey guys, I want to thank you again for watching Gavin's Garage. This has been a review of the Ryobi 2300. I really like this generator. It's a 2000 watt generator that has a push start. And the uh, gen control with the Bluetooth control, that's, that's just a lot. It really shows that they put a lot of thought into this generator. For a 2300 with the handle, the wheels, the push start, I give it a thumbs up. I really like it. Highly recommend it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Gavin's Garage and have a great day. Bye.